Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here with my brand new video touring around the 2017 San Diego Comic Con Convention Center. I'm going to go around, show all the different spots, show inside the dealer's room, so the autograph room, all around the convention floor, uh, where the panels are held, and some of the stuff you guys can do outside the convention as well, because there's a whole bunch of stuff outside, like things uh, set up you guys can look at, and uh, certain kind of events and stuff that are all outside the convention as well. I'm just going to go around and check out all the stuff at the San Diego Comic Con 2017 convention so let's go but here we are now heading over to where you get inside the convention so you can see though it's very busy it's Friday here today so Friday is one of the busiest days but Saturday is the top all-time busy day here though But here we are now at the main entrance to get inside. And basically what you have to do now is to go inside and just take your pass and you have to scan in or tap it in. Years back in the past, you know, this is the second year they've had the tap in pass like this. In the past though, you used to just show your badge and then would go in. But now you just, you know, scan it to get inside and that's the main way to get inside to keep people from like faking the passes and stuff. So now we're inside the convention center itself, and in here you could go, you know, downstairs to that door there and go into the actual exhibit hall room where they have all the dealers, the things for sale, all the studio booths, but we're going to head upstairs first. That's up there is where the autograph room is, up where most of the panels are. So let's head on upstairs now and check out the autograph area. So now here we are up on the escalator going upstairs. Every time I think of this escalator, I think of that documentary they made years back about Comic-Con. This escalator was always in that thing. I think it was like Kevin Smith was in it and stuff like that, but I always think of that when I go up on this. But like I said, we're heading up now to the autograph area. So now we're upstairs heading into the autograph room, and you go right through here and you have to scan in again to get to that area. You go to the left and you go right into where the autograph area is. And this year, there's definitely a whole bunch more of these scan-ins. Like last year, I think you really only scanned in the front. Now you're scanning in like a show there going into this area upstairs. So it seems like they've definitely added a bunch more of these scans this year. And here we are now up in the autograph area, and there's two different types of people signing up here for the autograph area. There's people who are here, you know, mostly all the days, like Thursday through Sunday, and they're here for a specific amount of time, like 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock, or 1 o'clock to 7, things like that. But then there's also select autograph people who are here only for one day, for like one to two hours. And a lot of those areas, you actually have to get a pass early in the morning when they first open, like a, basically like a ticket. So you have to get here at like 9 o'clock in the morning and line up really early to get them. And those are people who are signing up here only for a specific date, for a specific time, usually like for an hour or two. And there's a lot of like, you know, group signings up here and comic book artists. Like some of the bigger people are up here in that section. And one other thing they have up here in the uh, autograph room is they have a freebies table. It's a smaller table this year. They have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, for upcoming conventions and like promoting websites and all that kind of stuff. So always one thing to check out. Sometimes you find like posters and all kinds of like random things here at this freebie table. It's just one of those things I always check out when I'm up here. And one new thing to mention this year is a brand new thing they have here that they have at Disneyland and some theme parks as well as they have fuel rods, which means you guys can charge up your cell phone and you can buy one of the fuel rods and then you can you know switch them out throughout the entire day, which is not a bad way. Because the thing in here, this convention really, really drains your battery because there's really low signal in here. And if you guys don't have your schedule with you, you can find up on the wall up here a schedule of all the different events and all the different panel rooms. It also has a little bit more information about them as well as information about some of the signings that they are here, like Coven Bell, you know, and see like AA 118, uh, you know, one to two, all that different kind of stuff. And those wondering about food options, you find a bunch of different things here. Downstairs on the convention floor in the dealer's room, you come across a whole bunch of different things, a couple of different booths and some seating areas where you kind of find sandwiches and hot dogs and stuff like that. And then upstairs and throughout the convention, you'll come across, mainly outside of the convention, you'll come across a lot of cookie booths, a lot of Miss Fields cookies, and then a lot of pretzel booths. But they also have like, you know, some super cheesy nachos. You come across those as well here. But those are kind of the main things you come across here food-wise.
We're now heading into the area where all the different panel rooms are. This is mainly where the rooms are. There's two different areas here, two main areas. This area and then another area we'll show which like is where the ballrooms are. There's also Hall H and Hall H is the biggest area where they have all like the biggest actual panels in that room. And that one though usually people have to camp out overnight for. But here we are now inside of one of the panel rooms. This is one of the smaller rooms. This is one of the ones you know, I could come into just to show you know, what one of these looks like. I'll see if I can get into one of the bigger ones as well. But those ones usually have huge, huge lines. And like I was saying with Hall H, people camp out overnight for Hall H. So that one, you know, like if you want to get in there, it's, it can be a really long time. But as you can see, here's an example of one of the really, really long lines to get into one of the panels. And the one thing to keep in mind with some of these panels is they can have lines that go outside, so you can end up being outside for a very long time in the heat. So that's the one thing to keep in mind with some of these ones. I used to, when I came here, go to a lot of panels. I feel like now I really don't go to too many of them too often just because it can be such a long time you have to get in these lines. But as you can see, that was like a portion of the line, the line break. But now we're going to head to the ballroom area where some of the much bigger rooms are. So here we are taking a look at the ballroom. The ballroom is where they have some of the really, really big panels. They also have the masquerade in the, in, up here, which is the costume contest. You can actually watch some of the costume contests as well in a room, though, with the TV, though. But now we're going to head downstairs, though, to the absolutely biggest uh, panel room, Hall H. That's the one, though, like I said, you have to cap out really early if you want to get into that one. But here we are outside now for Hall H. Like I said, Hall H is the biggest room here. It's one of the ones where they have the biggest panels, like things like Justice League, all the Marvel kind of panels, all those kind of things. But everyone here camps out overnight, so usually it's 24 hours in advance half the time. And like with this thing too, keep in mind, they don't end up clearing the room between panels. So like a lot of people go, go in there for the first panel of the day and stay there if they want to see the thing at the end of the night. So they don't clear out. So you really aren't, most people are not leaving, so it's really difficult to get in there. Like I said, I used to go in this, you know, years back when it was really easy to go in. You could just wait in line for maybe like 40 minutes, but now it's like nearly impossible to get in there. But now we're going to head inside and go to the convention floor dealer's room. And up here is the best area to see a full view of most of the convention floor. But now we're going to head down to the convention floor. So here we are now in the convention floor itself, or the exhibition hall. And this is the main area where you can find uh, the things for sale, like the comic books, the toys, as well as the studio booths, like where they're promoting things for upcoming TV shows like Netflix, Warner Brothers, Fox, all that kind of stuff. And they give out free posters and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to head over to that area now. So here we are now in the middle area where it's all the studio booths where they have like all the big signings and stuff. As you can see though, this area is super, super busy. Right now they have a signing going on for Game of Thrones, so it's really bottlenecked and you can't get too close, but as you can see, there's a whole lot of people here for that, taking pictures and stuff. And there's a lot of other booths here like the Fox booth and they give out some posters. Uh, the Nickelodeon booth is here and they're doing a signing right now as well at that booth. But you can come across a whole bunch of other things here like the Netflix booth and they give out some free promo items in there and have like trailers and some of their upcoming shows. So a whole lot of different things in here in this area to see. And a lot of the signings though, it's sort of just like upstairs though. You have to get an early pass to get it. You have to line up early to get a ticket in order to get into it. You can't just walk into the signing. And all these posters and stuff usually end up on eBay tonight. You know, since these are free posters, people are selling them for like, you know, a couple hundred bucks sometimes depending on what the, you know, the signings are for. And the one thing too with these studio booths that a lot of people don't know is they have a lot of uh, photo ops in here. Like for example, at the Walking Dead booth, you can get a picture with yourself with the zombies. And some of the other booths, you have some like little standees you can stand in front of, and things like you're holding, uh, you know, Thor's hammer. So all these different things. So always check these booths though for all the different types of photo ops and pictures and things like that you can get taken at these booths. And they're either ones where they take them for you or ones you can take yourself.
Now we're out of the middle area of the convention, which like I said, is the most busy area where it's all those studio booths. And now we're heading right to where Hall H is, right at the back wall of the convention. And that's where the artist alley area is, where you can see artists who have their own things for sale. They have their artwork that they're showing. They're showing their books and things like that. Also, right next to Artist Alley is one of the most popular booths here, the Funko Pop booth. That booth always has the biggest line of anything at this convention. You always see like this, half the time the line gets cut off really early on. They have a whole lot of different exclusives there. So Funko Pop has always been one of those kind of booths that's always had an enormous line. But well, as you could tell, the Funko Pop booth was not busy at all. It looked like in, you know, Jingle All The Way, like with the Turbo Man dolls, there was only like those Buster ones left that nobody wanted. There was like nothing there. It was like totally picked over. I've never seen it. You know, this is only Friday. I've never seen it that picked over over there already. I don't know if they're going to get more stuff in, but that's crazy. There's like literally nothing left over there at that Funko booth. But now we're going to head to, you know, past the middle area where all the studio booths are and start looking at some of the toys they have set up like prototypes and some, um, some busts and stuff like that for upcoming toys and statues and stuff like that. Now here we are in the toy area. They have all the upcoming toys, upcoming busts, uh, models, all that kind of stuff. For example, the Gentle Giants booth. They have some upcoming, new and upcoming uh, Star Wars figures there. Some really cool stuff, some stuff for Rogue One, a whole bunch of old school style ones. And over here at the Mezco booth, they got a bunch of really cool upcoming stuff. Some of the stuff's available now, like some of the Living Dead dolls, but they have some upcoming ones that are like Jack in the Box things of horror characters, like, you know, Jason and Freddy. So those are really cool. A puzzle box thing they have coming out, and a bunch of cool horror themed Living Dead dolls, like Pennywise, the character from Clockworth Orange. So all these things are coming out, like the fall and winter, and some of them also in the prototype stages of those. see like Gizmo being printed out like from the second film. That's really cool. I love that, the detail of that thing. They have Jason here, Freddy. These are very cool. Over here in the NECA booth, they have some really cool upcoming stuff that they're promoting here, like the upcoming Good Guy Dow toy they have, uh, some upcoming Ninja Turtles, and they also have some really cool upcoming toys from the brand new Blade Runner film, some toys from the film Valerian that are coming out, uh, as well as some upcoming Alien toys, some new Predator toys. The Alien and Predator toys, though, they've been doing that line for really a long time now. Some upcoming superhero giant, like, bus things, like full bodies. Star Wars area, which seems to be an area where a lot of people in cosplay are kind of hanging out in there, and they're selling like some t-shirts and some like little plushes and things like that, all Star Wars related stuff that, you know, can be found inside that area. So pretty cool, like one thing, I don't remember this being here last year, this whole section like that. And over here at the Hot Toys booth, they have these really cool upcoming Justice League busts, as well as these upcoming uh, Star Wars ones, and these really cool ones of, you know, Doc Brown and Marty McFly. Really like these ones as well, but some really cool stuff they've got coming out here. And now we're leaving that area and heading into the other area in here, near the other end of the convention, where they have a lot of things for sale, like they have um, comic books here. Yes, they do have comic books. This is Comic-Con, but it's become more of a pop culture convention here now. But you do see comic books here. And I feel like there's a little bit more comic books here this year than last year. And you also come across some really cool retro toys. You come across a lot of movie posters. This year they're selling a lot of retro, you know, original movie posters here, as well as some DVDs, Blu-rays, all that kind of stuff in here. And the last major area of the convention center is the area where they have all the different video games. They have a whole bunch of different, you know, new and upcoming video games you can try and test out ones that aren't, you know, that aren't out yet and upcoming. And they have things for like Nintendo Switch, uh, things for Capcom, uh, some virtual reality games. So all these different kind of things you can try out here. It's a pretty cool thing if you guys are interested in video games. They have like a little video game section with all these new and upcoming ones you guys can try. So that's all the major stuff you guys can see inside the convention center when I showed you guys the autograph area. All the 
different stuff, their ballrooms. Now let's head outside and see what kind of stuff we can find outside because there's a couple events and stuff like that that are going on outside where you can see things that they're promoting for things like the tick and all that kind of stuff. So we'll head outside and see what we can see. I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown, and you're Georgie, so now we know each other. And out here they have some pretty cool stuff. They have like a promo thing for It, you know, the new It film, like a bus, some kind of bus thing you can walk inside of. They have a promo thing for the new Hey Arnold movie that's going to be coming out. So that's pretty cool. And then they have like some food trucks out here, different kinds of stuff. So all kind of like a video game and all these kind of things. And these are the things too you can come to if you don't have a pass. It's some of the stuff you can just go through. So that's a pretty cool thing if you guys, you know, are interested in this. And they also throughout the other areas have some other things you guys can check out as well. And they have this cool walkthrough thing here where you can walk through these bones, like Kong bones, for promoting the, you know, Kong Skulls Island Blu-ray. come out they have a photo op of Kong's hand here that's a really cool thing so when you go through here that's the big photo op at the end of the walkthrough so that was my video of my tour of the 2017 San Diego Comic Con convention. Tried to show a little bit of everything, a little bit of like the booths, the stuff for sale, uh, the autograph area, the panels, all that kind of stuff. Anyway though guys, thanks so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys later. Bye.